Scrum Resource Judge number 3354. I've reviewed your abilities, and your Yuki Jesus powers are too strong for Dueling Book. We have to make an entire new format section just for Yuki Jesus. Well, that's one judge that's not going to Yu-Gi-Oh! Hell, and that's a good thing, too, because that place is always on fire and smells like hair gel. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the new Yu-Gi-Oh card that's coming out in the OCG in a collector's pack called Iron Draw, and it's really, really sweet. It's a machine draw card, and I really want to talk about this, of course, because me being a machine player myself, you know, playing Cyber Dragons and stuff, it's a card worth talking about, and it's a card we're talking about extensively because, I mean, Cybernetic Horizon is the set after Flames of Destruction, as I've explained before, and uh, that is going to be a pretty huge set, guys. I can really see it being a huge set, and uh, we don't know what cards we're getting in the TCG out of that set. The OCG knows what they're getting out of it, but we don't know what we're getting in the TCG, so we might just get this card in Cybernetic Horizon. We don't know. So in today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about the new Iron Draw Machine Draw card, of course, and then we're going to be getting into some fan mail. But first, before we get into all that, of course, I have to give the hugest shout out to all my wonderful and fantastic patrons. You guys are all, like, just amazing. You really keep the funnest channel in Yu-Gi-Oh! going. I seriously don't know how to thank you guys for all of your love and support, except for to keep making videos and, of course, to get you guys discounts on that. So speaking of which, our other shout out to Today, as always, is to MetaMats.com, my sponsor made by us, designed by you. If you guys want 10% off of any map from MetaMats.com, then enter in the code Eugene versus Jesus, and you will get 10% off of any map that you want. But now, guys, with all the shoutouts out of the way, let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, you guys, so Iron Draw is a machine support draw card that says if you control exactly two machine-type monsters and no other monsters draw two cards, but it's Shadal Windows yourself. In other words, um, after that, you can only special summon one more time, and you can only activate one copy of the this card per turn. So on paper this card seems really really good because it lets you draw two cards in other words it's a plus one and its condition is not very hard to me. I mean two machine monsters is not exactly this giant hurdle you know what I mean? It's not like summoning Quasar or something like that to get two machines on the board. It's just really really simple. You can even instant fuse for Panzer Dragon out of your extra deck you know what I mean and get a machine on the board. So this card's uh, requirements you know this card's activation requirements is not you know this big uh, condition to be met. Uh, so on paper this card seems really really good but I'm not gonna lie guys before hitting record today um, and before giving my opinions on this card because I did get you guys' messages yesterday Okay, I do read you guys' messages and stuff and you guys wanted me to talk about this card And so uh, last night and today um, I was messing around with uh, different cyber dragon builds and stuff And I was kind of like, I'm not gonna lie I was playing around with ancient gears a little bit I don't really know the deck all that well because I usually beat it So decks that I usually beat all the time on like YGO Pro or something like that I usually ignore I'm not gonna lie I'm not saying it's a bad deck I'm just saying I win against it But to simplify this as much as possible to get my point across as simply as possible um this card when playtesting for me anyways um especially in my you know combolicious you know rank five cyber dragon build it just wasn't that great of a card and the reason why i mean the reason why is obvious i mean it windows yourself you know and it, it, it's a once per turn card um so those two reasons are obvious but um what isn't obvious is that when you actually play the card in cyber dragons it fixes bad hands but it only fixes them for like the next turn in like your combo cyber Dragon. So it's just, in other words, it's just kind of a slow card. I mean, it can be good in certain situations and like combo cyber dragons. It's just hard to explain. Um, and in other words, like the card was only really good when I drew bad hands and when I had like good hands, you know, when I opened up machine dupe, you know, and everything else I wanted to see, the card was just really, really dead and I didn't want it. That's really what I'm trying to get across here. However, you guys all know this is a very, very, very public knowledge, literally, okay, that, that I have been on about a power bond searcher literally since, you know, the cyber revolution structure deck forever ago okay I've been on about a power bond searcher for a very long time this is no secret and honestly it's just kind of like this dead horse I'm beating but like whatever okay um long story short here though like getting to the point um I've been talking about this power bond searcher this theoretical card for a really long time something to get to power bond more consistently so that you know a uh, power bond OTK decks don't just auto lose when you know the rampage dragon dies for example you know what I mean because like you commit so many resources to your one monster which is your win condition and if your opponent I don't know like ashes um you know your rampage dragon so you can't Sin from deck to graveyard, or if your opponent's, you know, solemn strike stats, or or just anything, gammas, it doesn't matter. If, if that gets stopped, I mean, you're, you're really, really screwed. The Power Bond Win Condition, honestly, guys, just needs needs as much help as it can get. That's what I'm trying to get at here. It just needs as much help as it can get. So that's why I've been clamoring for this Power Bond Searcher for a long time to try to, like, you know, help the deck out. But this new Iron Draw card, when I put, when I when I swap my cards around, when I took out, you know, uh, like, you know, when I, when I bought Machine Dupe, like, to two, and it would change the ratios around. Long story short, when I changed 
changed my Cyber Dragon deck around, and when I added Power Bonds and Overload Fusions and stuff, Iron Troll actually became really, really good. And the reason why, and what I kept finding is that, um, you know, it's really easy. I mean, in Cyber Dragon, Cyber Dragon literally summons itself, you know what I mean? If your opponent controls a monster, and like, it's not hard to get two machine monsters on the board at all. So, um, it lets you dig in. What I'm trying to get at here is Iron Draw lets you get those two monsters on the board as, you know, your Power Bond requirement or whatever, and it lets you draw two cards. And another thing, another uh, thing I want to note here is that with uh, Cyber Dragon Veer coming out in Cybernetic Horizon, which special summons itself from the hand when you summon a Cyber Dragon, that is also another way to get another machine on board. So in other words, guys, Iron Draw isn't a combo-licious card. If you guys think that you're going to be able to like, throw three copies of this in your Rank 5 Cyber Dragon deck or your Combolicious Ancient Gear deck or, you know, your Combolicious a ABC deck or something like that and, you know, have it be really good, it's not going to be as good as you think because it has two really hard effects to kind of play around. You know, the window effect and the once per turn effect. The hard once per turn effect is, is a huge pain, especially because if you draw like another copy of it, that is literally a dead card because you can only activate one copy per turn, so you can't, you know, activate another one. That's just really, really bad. But what this card does do is it lets you try to dig into a power bond or it lets you dig into a polymerization or lets you dig into, I don't know, whatever, whatever, insert your card here that you're trying to dig into, you know, is your win condition or whatever in your machine deck, whatever machine deck that you're playing, um, Iron Draw lets you do that. And uh, Iron Draw, um, I think that what, what people are forgetting here is that not everyone plays, you know, uh, something that's, you know, meta relevant. A lot of people, we just play at home with their friends and stuff and might not necessarily play a machine deck that is as known as Ancient Gears or Cyber Dragons or, some, or a ABCs or something like that. What I really like about this card is that this card can be played in all those decks and it can also be played in like Roids or just any other machine deck that you could possibly play. They truly made this card very, very generic and they made it very generic and very um, limited in its power. So I give this card overall, I give it an A, like I give it like, you know, I guess I'll give it like a 9 out of 10 or something like that for like card design because it is a very very balanced card and it's a card that covers a lot of different bases for a lot of different decks uh, but slower decks but slower decks and that's really the downside so the downside i mean uh, when it comes to actual playability you know like meta viability i don't know guys i mean this remains to be seen but I, I don't know, I'll give the card like a, a three for now or something like that because like I said, I, but this you know, uh, this isn't you know set in stone or anything, but um, just genuinely when I was playing out combo hands and stuff, that card just wasn't really doing anything unless I had like a losing hand and, and it got me to better cards, but that's really about it. That's, uh, I don't know how else to explain that. And you guys may already know what I'm talking about here and may have already tested it yourself. Um, if so, uh, please leave a comment down below or if you guys have different findings, I would love to hear uh, all about them down in the comment section and if you guys have any other you know machine techs or cyber dragon techs or anything i would absolutely love to hear about those because i'm always trying to you know improve cyber dragons and um you know learn you guys about the deck and learn you guys just about Yu-Gi-Oh in general of course so like any comments that you guys leave down below i do read them not all of them i mean i'm not a machine you know what i mean i'm not a machine myself but i do read my fair share of comments and stuff because i like communicating with you guys it's like you know this is the funnest shit on Yu-Gi-Oh. i like having fun playing Yu-Gi-Oh, and i like you know playing Yu-Gi-Oh with you guys and all that stuff but um, anyways, um, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Go ahead and let me know what you think about this card. Um, and go ahead and let me know what text you guys are playing in your machine decks down in the comments section. But until next time, let's go ahead and get into some fan mail. All right, looks like I got a couple from Chris Bushka at the same time. So we're going to open them both. I don't know why I always get his letters. Like, I'll get, like, one on time and I'll get, like, one, like, two weeks late. Like, <laughs> and he's, like, and like I've explained before, guys, in the mail, um, mail Mondays in the past. Oh, my gosh. I cannot freaking open this. There's so much tape. But like I've explained before, like, I... I'm, I'm in Oklahoma, you know, uh, he's in Kansas. He's in the state on top of me and like I will get stuff from him two weeks late Like inexplicably it makes no it makes no sense. It like makes zero sense But then like, you know, I'll get like one that he sent I, I, it's, it's just, long story short guys. It just makes zero sense uh, Same thing with this it makes zero sense why I can't open this but I just did so <laughs> that works out um, Let's uh, see what all this is so much tape on this dude. <laughs> you went mad with the tape um, Hey, uh, hey, no, no, I'm glad you liked my savage letter last week Tier zero is so lonely uh, but no but for real though on the uh, that's not like this is from a little while back uh, he was like um someone uh, that was alec alec mendoza was like um he was talking about being tier two champ or whatever and like um he was comparing bushka to like tier one or whatever because like uh, we have like the they've the, my fans guys they they write me all the time and like they they've they've established tier systems for who writes me the most and stuff i this is something that they made up okay but long story short um someone someone i think it was alec was like 
like calling uh, Bushka like the tier one or whatever. And Bushka was like, nah, dude, I'm tier zero. <laughs> <laughs> it's freaking funny. Oh my gosh. Um, especially the amazing artist and uh, Anthony. Uh, best fans on the planet. You know, they, they really are. Just so everyone knows, I hate tooting my own horn. It was just a joke. Anyways, I uh, mean, uh, since, the, the, this letter, since my letter was so long uh, last week, even without the backs, I'll keep this one short. I have a couple more uh, Yugi Jesus support uh, cards coming off the printer soon, so expect those soon. Anyways, here are some more pages for the Island of Misfit Bind. I got you, bro. I'll keep up. I'll keep the binder filled. Oh, another cool story. I know he's. Uh, I know he's uh, written to you before, but freaking Set, uh, Seto Kaiba, the awesome Yugi tuber, recognized me, and we got to duel together. What? No, no. Uh, I, no he actually. Um, I don't think that he has written to me before. If, if it's the same Seto Kaiba, if it's the Yuki tuber, that's that. I don't think that it's him. I think it's a different Seto that has written me. But if it's the Yuki tuber, I've actually watched his stuff, so I don't know. I don't. Is it the same guy? If it's the same. If, if the Yuki tuber is the same guy that's been writing me, man. I uh, pff, I thought it was just two uh, two guys that going by Seto Kaiba. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, uh, that's really cool. You got to do with him though. He seems like a really really nice guy. Um, it was awesome. Um, I also met uh, one of your awesome fans on Davidator's stream. Pretty cool. Uh, until then, um, be sure to slap those Easter eggs on the like button and <laughs> subscribe. Sincerely, Chris Bushka. Uh, thank you so so much. Um, whoa, uh, that's a card guys that's a dude whoa what, what is this what did you send me dude like what what, what are my instructions on this thing? Um, also, thought you might like this. I had a play set, but sold the other two. Sorry. <laughs> That's cool, dude. Thank you so much. That's awesome. This was an awesome reprint out of that. And, like, this will go great in the uh, in the goat binder. Thank you so, 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 so much, dude. Like, I'm really glad they reprinted this card. Hopefully, more people will get into goat format because of this. Because a lot of people were uh, being held back from this card, like, you know, going way up in price there for a little bit. So, it's nice uh, having that reprint in the Legendary Collection, Kaiba. Anyways, though. Anyways, though. Let's open up your other letters see what this one says this one's like double packaged so like i have to like open this and then pull this out and now i'm gonna open this one <laughs> it's like i get to open up two but um let's see oh, oh am i gonna get to open up three whoa that is thick what what is this dude hey no no since my last letter was so long i'll try to keep this one brief you accidentally missed the backs of my letter the other week i know i know i saw your comment i know i know uh the only thing of note uh was that i was kidding about the tier zero stuff i was joking you're awesome fan so oh he wrote this thinking that i didn't get this see that's what i'm saying guys 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 like like i seriously just got this one and I think he wrote this one like thinking that I didn't get this one then I got this one and this one at the same time makes this is what I was talking about a minute ago this makes zero sense so I'm gonna try to skim through this so basically in the first play page he was just talking about the tier zero joke and stuff um, secondly uh, you were totally right about DBZ bridge once you start it, it is so easy to binge the whole thing it really is uh, now I am just sad that I ran out of uh, uh, ran out of them to watch uh, speaking of Dragon Ball did you just watch any of Dragon Ball super I haven't watched any of it yet um, I know I'll get uh, ripped for saying it, but I only watched like the last five or so episodes. Oh my gosh, though, uh, that might have been the the uh, best ending to a show ever. Really? Um, if you get, I've heard it was good. I heard that there's like a lot of filler and and and, and super because of uh, the movies and stuff. Because like they're just repeats of the movies. But like I don't know, dude. I don't know. Like I, I seriously haven't seen. I've seen like maybe like two episodes of Super Tops, you know. Um, but I seriously have been like waiting to watch it so I can just like watch the whole thing at once because I'm kind of a binge watcher if you get time after your never-ending to-do list i would definitely recommend the last couple episodes of dragon ball super i thought it was overkill to have uh, more dragon ball stuff especially with a uh, super saiyan of uh, god super saiyan god <laughs> um, i know uh, it's a uh, really uh, super i've uh, written i know i know it's really super saiyan blue but honestly it was uh, such a good it's super saiyan god super saiyan or whatever that's what he's trying to say uh, but um i wanted to say the new mats look awesome yes uh, so when they turn uh, uh, so when when they are out, y'all should go buy them up uh, using promo code UG versus Jesus. Yeah, for real. I am sad to hear. Um, um, I am sad to hear you. You've given up on Dark Magicians. Uh, it is a little past its heyday, though. Uh, Dark Magicians is the only super competitive deck I've ever played. It was funny because when you made uh, the video casuals, um, I had uh, literally just tried uh, tried for the first time. Uh, 
a non dark magician competitive deck, a pendul <laughs> pendulum magicians. Um, even after only playing a rogue for years, as soon as I picked up pendulum magicians, I got called almost every single name you mentioned in the video. Oh my gosh, um, it was ridiculous. It was even it was um, even worse because I got called names from both sides because I was proxying electromite. I wasn't sure I could uh, spend uh, that kind of dough if, if it wasn't uh, it, um, if I wasn't even sure I wanted to play the deck. Yeah, for sure. Um, also, uh, speaking of your never-ending to-do list, uh, here are some more cards for the Yugi Jesus deck. I apologize in advance for uh, one of the cards. Um, I am not I'm not sure if it's enough cards yet, but I will check and let you know next week. I'm sure that it's probably enough. I like I need to reorganize everything because like, this room is in a constant state of reorganization because I never get enough time to like completely reorganize the whole thing. But like it's a complete, you know, it's always in a cycle of reorganization. But like literally everything's like right here. It's just I need to get the time to uh, to check. Um, but uh, anyways, I know there were uh, cards like that. Xyz monster, the fan sent you. I want to make sure you could play them in the Yuki Jesus deck from the Power of All fans last question are you are we ever going to find out who your mom is maybe eventually <laughs> i don't know and as always be sure to tick slap that like button and subscribe also uh forgot to mention you know the deal the cards are for you and the paper ones are to be signed and returned no problem dude no problem <laughs> jerry go oh my god there's a freaking jerry king link monster <laughs> oh my god aunt <laughs> god. babysitter Oh my god, that's freaking funny, dude. This thing's for in the sky is the babysitter. Oh, uh, yeah, because I'm a freaking deadbeat dad or whatever. And hey, dude, this is freaking awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, um, so this is going to be like more of the, yes, dude. Amazing. So these are going to be uh, the uh, actual, like, physical copies to go in the um, the actual deck. And then I can't believe, what's this Jerry Leak monster do? Um, once returned, you can special summon up to five Jerry Beansman tokens. <laughs> As, as the name suggests, this is a uh, Jerry Beans Man token. Large numbers, they can overwhelm their, fo their foes. Truly an infestation. That is freaking sweet, dude. Um, I will definitely sign these for you, though, and get them right back your way. Thank you so much for writing, dude. As always, as freaking always.